Right, so which of the compound can undergo aldol condensation when reacted with aqueous NaOH? So this is a straightforward again theory. So you know aldol condensation in general can be uh, happen for the aldehydes which has uh, alpha hydrogen. So this is a typical aldehyde right so here there is a ch2 group and these are these hydrogens are called alpha hydrogens so normally how it happens so aldol condensation happens in the presence of naoh right so in naoh there is this oh minus which will act as our nucleophile here and will attack one of these hydrogens okay so these hydrogens will be broken down like this, one of the hydrogens, and this will be uh, the electron delocalization. So basically what it happens is to CH3, and there will be only one hydrogen now, because one hydrogen is taken by this OH- to form water molecule. And here there will be a double bond like this, and this will be OH. O minus and this is our nucleophile initial nucleophile this, this is a base so this is form then one what this do so there will be another molecule of ch3 uh, ch2 with the carbonyl aldehyde so there will be a electron uh, delocalization like this here in this molecule. So O minus is again going to form the double bond with this carbon. And this pi bond now will attack this carbon and carbon. Okay. So then it will goes up to the product. So I'm not going to write down the product and put hydrogen. So it's very simple. The product will be CH3, CH2, CH. So this double one attack, so it will be OH and this part of the product and hydrogen. So, so to answer this particular question, you need to find uh, adjacent carbon to the carbonyl carbon, which have alpha hydrogen. So in this one, this is not an aldehyde. This is a carboxylic acid. So you cannot think of it. This is a ester, no ester, no. So I have only two aldehydes here. And then for this particular adjacent carbon, there are no alpha hydrogens. You don't see alpha hydrogens. However, here there are two alpha hydrogens. So the answer is pretty straightforward here. Okay. So if you know the real theory here, it will not take like two seconds to answer this.